Hello, uh, my name is Musharraf Dogar and I am a coding teacher in KIBS from class 5 to 13 and I am teaching here different courses. So specifically for class 10, this year we are learning about what databases are. Basically the databases are a technology that replaces the old system of storing data um, into the computers and so the application can communicate with them efficiently and the humans can access them wherever the data is safely and efficiently. In this year, uh, basically we are using uh, MacBook Pros uh, for the development of databases and specifically we are using a, an application called MySQL Workbench because of um, an open source opportunity given by us. We have learned starting from the design, uh, going through the design processes, how we can improve our design for the databases and finally the students are in a phase uh, where they are making their own databases about their real-time experiences, what they have experienced so far in their life. And this is an introductory program, so we're going to continue this one and help students to learn more about what databases are, how they work, and how we can use on them on an enterprise level. Hello, I'm Philip, I'm from 10 and this is the media class. Um, currently, we're looking at creating databases, and we're doing this by looking at the MySQL Workbench program and working with the MySQL language. So, at the beginning, we started designing the databases, and with that, we used the iPads to draw on notability, like the basic principles of what we want to do and how we want to, the database to work. And for this, we got through the normal forms. Um, those are basically the ways you make a database and make it so that it, uh, yeah, it works. And then, um, at least my group then exported it to numbers so we had a clearer um, database. And from there on, we used the MacBooks and got onto the MySQL workbench. And there, we, yeah, we created the tables, connected them with foreign keys. There are basically keys that you have in one table and then connect to another table. And yeah, we're currently in the phase of looking if the database actually works and then looking at queries. So that's a way to search the database, get data out of it, and yeah, sort it. Hello, my name is Yannick Peto. I'm from Tembi. And as part of our lesson content in the media lessons, we learned why databases are necessary, uh, how we can exchange data efficiently through these databases because they uh, replaced old file formats and make data available all throughout the world through servers in the cloud. In this year, in class 6, the students are learning about speedobots. Um, so the speedobots are basically helping them to understand about science, technology, math and engineering together, combining with an arts. The speedobots are a really good help for the students to understand in a very early age how the coding works. They are using Fido Education app um, to work with the Sphero bots. So basically Sphero bots is helping them to program their bots and control them using the block coding. And in the block coding technique, students will try to understand the very basics of programming and gonna take this knowledge into the future classes for deep learning in programming and also with the future of the bots. I'm very thankful that I in these young years programming. Und ich glaube, dass die Swiveboards die perfekten Beispiele sind, um zu zeigen, dass Programmieren Spaß macht. Ich finde es sehr faszinierend, die Swiveboards zu programmieren mit den verschiedenen Programmierblöcken. And I'm very grateful that I'm in the school. I think that the Swiveboards are a great addition to uh, the school and our learning progress. The Swiveboards help us understand more about the programming and will hopefully help us more in the future.